What's good, y'all? What's good? Mike says, speak your clout podcast. Man, I was going to wait so I got said product in hand, right? But I can't wait. I want to talk about this shit, man. And what I'm talking about is Darby Old Trail Creek. Darby Old Trail, South Florida artist, Chapter 17. Just got signed. Uh, if you know me, you, you've seen the Big Creek Hour stream. You've seen the video where I was saying I was hyped for the Creek record. You know how much I fuck with Darby. And the album is just one of those albums. One of those albums that I just have to talk about. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait. Now, the CD shipped on the 18th of July. We're on the 25th now. Still don't got it. That ain't Chapter 17's fault. That's the motherfucking postal service. It was an acceptance forever, right? Forever. It's been days, right? It's starting to move. Now, it's in Massachusetts, right? It's in my fucking state. But it goes back to Providence, Rhode Island, then come back over here. It won't be here Thursday, Friday. Fucking annoying, right? So I'm like, yo, I keep talking about this fucking album. Let's talk about the motherfucking album. Let's do the review now. Y'all ain't waiting. All right? This album is special, man. It's one. You know, back in the day, you used to get one of them albums. And you take the motherfucking shrink wrap off, take the plastic off, throw it out the window, open the motherfucking CD, put it in the motherfucking stereo, right? In the whip, home, in the Walkman for my OG niggas. Walking, right? It's one of those albums, and you know it's gonna be. You listen to the album, and you're like, "Yeah, it's special." That's what it is. Like I know it was gonna be good, but it over exceeded my expectations, big time. Two minutes of rant. Let's get to the fucking album. W.O. Trill Creek starts off the secret of the mud. What a way to start the album, man. Darby repping his home turf of South Florida. Mentions growing up in a trailer park and hearing his parents argue. His mama's ran through his pop's prescriptions. You know? Life ain't beautiful, man. This shit is fucked up. I love that shit. It's that dirty South shit. That raw Southern shit. That's what I got from this. And it's immaculate. Song is fantastic. What a way to start the album, man. Like Darby really rhyming gully on here. All fucking pun intended, right? Love that shit. So dope. Then we get Spinal Fluid Smoothie, the first single off the album. Absolutely love this joint. I remember hearing Darby sample this shit on Twitter, right? And then hearing it in full on the Midwest United Juggalos. Shout out to my homies, Team MUJ. On their uh, That Shit Trash, That Shit Fire show I was on with Darby. And he played that in full and I... I loved it. I want it to be released ASAP, right? Y'all be talking that shit on here. My favorite line on here. I always talk about it. I got thick Hispanic chicks down to twerk up on this gringo. Then I'm in a wellness pocketbook when she come home from bingo. I love that shit. You know, the closing line is cold too, of course. You know what I'm repping? Put that one next to the seven. Raised up by the six, so I'm prepared for Armageddon. Scumbag. Oh man, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. Fucked up. LSD and lid on my Jesus shit. Oh my god. Phenomenal song. A five mic song. The video is gas. You know, amazing. Immaculate. Love Spinal Fluid Smoothie, man. Can't get enough of that song. Incredible song. Then we get Red Stain on a White Robe featuring Hex. The ultimate fucking. Body of bigot anthem, you know. Fuck the triple care came to bring you misery and pain. The chorus go dumb too, you know. I'm a killer clansman. Turn that turn that white robe to a mount of black ashes. Mount of black ashes. Ain't no bigot safe when I'm swinging my hatches. Swinging my hatches. That shit is amazing. Hex caught a body on here. Shout out to Hex. Love Hex. He killed that shit as well. You know, brown fry with that my twin Glock. Stay running notches up off the block. 
fire. Fire. Yeah, Red Stain on a White Robe is fucking immaculate. I love that song. Then we get a sense of entitlement. Does it make up for um, lack of happiness? That shit is crazy. Uh, absolutely love this joint. Devereaux, shout out to Devereaux. Devereaux produced this whole album. And in my personal opinion, like, all the shit Devereaux did with Ouija is gas. The shit he did with uh, ICP, like Phyllis Fed Fury, I love. But this, to me, is in my personal opinion, some of Devereaux's best production. I told them boys, I said, yo, Darby and Devro together is the juggalo gangstar, like dead ass. You know, I'm like dead ass. I mean that shit. Yeah, a sense of entitlement doesn't make up for lack of happiness. It's one of them records, like sampling that 3 6 Mafia. Now I'm high part three of that Mystic Styles. Just fire. Uh, Darby does something really dope on here, man, that I really appreciate greatly. He incorporates Cannibal Corp songs in his bars. Like, fuck, boy, you should be Butcher That Birth, you know? Butcher That Birth is mentioned. Uh, Force Fed Broken Glass. Hammer Smash Face. Bomb With The Soul. Absolute Hatred are among the songs that he mentioned on here. I'm quite the Cannibal Cult fan. I'm a big Cannibal Cult fan, so I love that shit. I love that shit. Dope-ass track. Such a dope-ass cut. Then we give a turn to the paper boy. Shout out to my boy, Jiggy Fresh. You know, he rocks with that. Uh, I love Darby Chorus Game. Darby's Chorus Game is perfection, and this song is pure, pure uh, proof of that. Like his his fucking Chorus Game is crazy. I love the Black in Her Eyes reference. That shit is hard. When he mentions like his neighbor abusing his wife, like Darby is great with those references, man. A banger for sure. Then we get a Moon Fit for Building Castles Under, featuring Ouija Mac. Um, the second single from the album, y'all be getting real personal on this one. And I can relate, man. I, I've been there. The shit he says on here. Mainly, the pills of the job were less than half of the time. All they did was clog the thoughts that I kept in my mind. I love that shit. And this one, too. I found escape in music in the movies I like, but they can't escape the fact that I'm dying inside. Back then, I felt that way, sometimes even now, bro. So I felt that shit heavy. Those lines, especially big time, because I lived it. That Ouija killed it. I love his flow and cadence on here. He, sl he slided on that, you know? Stay away, not my lungs, bitch, I'm blowing that, you know? Just an amazing song, amazing video. I love the visuals of it. All that shit is just perfection to me. Amazing song. Then we get my favorite song on the album. Hands down, my favorite song on the fucking album. Whispers from the Medicine Cabinet, Go Dummy. Like, this shit go hard. My absolute favorite song on the album. Uh, Devro left Earth on the production. And Darby absolutely left Earth lyrically on here. Darby is rhyming at a very high rate on this joint. Like, the lyricism displayed on this track is absolutely exceptional. I leave you shot up like an alley full of junkies for no reason at all, other than I thought it was would be funny. Like that shit is crazy. Pull a spine out like a Mortal Kombat tournament and all that ass shit. Crazy. Like Dolby also channels his inner Jonathan Davis on this chorus, man. Sounds like issues era or something. Fucking love this song, man. Sounds just incredible. So fucking good. The ICP killing fields um sample too. Like, yo, Wishes from the Medicine Cabinet is top tier. Amazing, yo. I love that shit. Um, let me get, I hate people who don't know when to shut up. Just pure wicked shit. Dev with that real dark shit. You know, the production. Darby saying all he knows is death. So fucking evil sounding. This is superb wicked shit. I love that Cannibal Corpse reference again. Eating back to life. Perfect fucking song. It's mad, like, grimy and dark. Now, this song, I play on loop. Every time I hear it, I run it back. This upcoming song. Within the realm of misery. Featuring misery. Not misery from, like, 98 psychopathic days. No. I think it's a chick. The song is immaculate. Like, Darby always used to tell me, Wait for the big record. Wait for the big record. Whenever I praise Gully, 
whenever I praise the tomb, always said, wait for the big record, right? I can see why. This sounds so big. This sounds like it could be on the radio. Like dead ass. Like I, I'm telling you. And I'm talking about on mainstream bullshit. I mean like amazing. Like it's that good. Like it's an absolute masterpiece of a song. You know, Darby and Misery is absolute perfection together, man. Darby singing on here is immaculate. That na 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 love that shit. This song is one of them songs, let me tell you. That's like sitting next to the air conditioner, blowing the blunt, relaxing type music. It's fucking incredible. I love that song. Then we get Never Ending Ball Itch. Darby tells a story of a spider crawling into his body, and it lays more eggs, so it creates more spiders. and just fucks them up, you know? Also having roaches, among other insects in him. He tries to get his homies to, like, understand where he's coming from, right? But they say he's bugging. He's back on drugs again. You know what I'm saying? This is prime Violent J-esque storytelling. It really is. This song is motherfucking immaculate, bro. I, I fucking, I, I love this fucking song. It's perfection. Love it. Dope-ass track. Dope beat by Dev, too. That beat is crazy. Then we get Massive Moron Mode, Darby Out the Gate, Body and Shit. Absolutely love the nod of Limp Biscuit on here with that counterfeit shit. You know what I'm saying? Darby calling out all the fake fuck boys on this one, a straight banger. Counterfeit, you know. Do that Billy Y'all's my favorite Limp Biscuit album, so I dug that. Then this song, this is one of them ones, my nigga. This is one of them ones. The shaman requires a sacrifice for his services. That motherfucker, dog. The joint is something else. One of my ultimate favorites on here. Big wicked shit. That magic, dark magic, witchcraft, fan enchantment. Oh my god. Dog be on this Papa Shango shit on this one. On my wrestling has no that fucking reference. Southwest voodoo vibes. Shit is mad dark. Again, Devereaux proven why he is goaded. That beat is fucking nuts. My favorite beat on the album is The Shaman Requires a Sacrifice for His Services. That shit is crazy. Big goaded. Then we get Poison in the Junta featuring Sagan Umo. Absolutely love this joint. Just super hype shit. You know, Darby looking at the weed saying, this shit look like Yoda, dog, and all that. That shit gas. Darby's flowing here just dope as fuck. I have no idea what Sagan Umo was saying, but it's big gas. I guess it's like what I get from it is, you know, there's something in that weed, motherfucker, you know? Fire. I love that shit. Then we get put a bullet in the head of every bigot on the planet. I'm all for a bigot bashing all fucking day. Sad that that shit is still alive and well in 2023. And some juggalos, you know, undercover racist, which is bullshit. Fuck y'all niggas, man. So sad that uh that happens. But Darby kills this shit, man. Fuck your white robes and your rebel flag. Love that joint, man. Fire. One of my ultimate favorites right here, too. We get Room with a Moose. Room with a Moose. Oh, man. More pure wicked shit. Darby talking about body in your ass and dismembering you. You know? A chainsaw is fun to use, but it's louder than fuck. It quickly turns your neck into a raging fountain of blood. That shit is gas. Love that line. And my favorite line on this song. Yesterday I caught... He said, yesterday I caught the cost of bumping Isham's red tape. Them booming words from hell always help to get my head straight. Fantastic, bro. Room of the Moose is big fire, bro. That shit is a classic. Love That's a five mic song. Amazing. And then we get whew, one of my ultimate favorites. All Day I Dream About Suffering. Adidas, you know, like he's a big corn fan. You know, they had a song called Adidas, All Day I Dream About Sex, you know what I'm saying? But, yo... This is definitely a standout on the album. Darby singing to me is just as good as his rapping. He's an all-around amazing artist. And I love that chorus. Dev wrote with the pristine production. It's fantastic. I love that song. And then the last track, I use Roach Guts to sweeten my coffee. Hard body. What a way to end the album. Just that ultimate wicked shit. Dev did his thing on here. The production is fantastic. Darby comes more than correct with the vocals on here. 
immaculate. Now, every album we do on Speaking Club Podcast, we give the top three songs and the classic, the sauce migrating. Pay homage to the sauce. So, to me, it's a classic album. Yes, that word is thrown around a lot. Album hasn't even been out a fucking week yet. But this album is like this to me, okay? I'm not saying it's, it's like on par with Riddle Box, but it's one, you know, Riddle Box is like every song sounds different. Every song has a purpose. It's like that. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's just fucking phenomenal. It, it blew me away. I knew it was going to be good. My nigga Darby saying, when did you hear the big record? When did you hear the big record? And I know why, right? I'm blown the fuck away, dog. Not because he's my homie. Trust me. I have homies that I said, you trash. But Darby is immaculate. Like, this album, him and Devro put together a masterpiece. Yes. And I can't get enough of this fucking record, man. But bumping it like crazy. So it's a five micro for me. It's five fucking mics. You hit it here first. To me, it's five fucking mics, man. Okay? And you know my favorite song? I said it. Whispers from the Medicine Cabinet. Whispers from the Medicine Medicine Cabinet, number one. Number two, I got to put within the realm of misery. I, I play that like crazy. Right? And then the third track. My favorite, the third, my third favorite song, the shaman requires a sacrifice for her services. They could change. So whispers, misery, and in the, the shaman. I'll give it the short little titles because you know Dobby got the long titles. <laughs> but yeah, those are my top three songs on the album. Five mics. Those are my top three songs. It's a masterpiece. Now I want to show the CD and all that. I'll show it. Oh, here's just some plugging. So I will be on. Midwest United Juggalos, Team MUJ. I'll be on their motherfucking show Saturday, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. I, the CD better be here by then. I'll show it then, right? I couldn't wait now. Here's the album review. Darby Trill Creek, the motherfucking link be in the description to buy the physical and listen to that bitch will be in the description as well. So there the fuck you have it. Darby Trill Creek, album of the year. My album of the year. Perfection, all right. You ain't fucking with this album, your juggalo. I don't know what to tell you, man. You know how disgruntled and moody these niggas be, but that album not one bad song, not one skip. I thought Gully was incredible, I thought the tune was incredible. Amputate EP gas, right? Um, but yo, this motherfucker right here. Goaded. It's one of those albums. It is. This will go down like Tales from the Lotus Pie. This will go down like, I know niggas don't like them. Almighty. Allah Zui Lu. That's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nodis. Do believe in God. The first six. I'm telling you. It's one of those fucking albums. It is, bro. It's incredible, bro. Okay? And music is subjective, right? But to my ears, incredible. I can get enough of it. I've been playing this shit like fucking crazy, man. And for y'all niggas, for proof, man, like at Last FM, shout out to Last FM, right? They they just track everything I've been I, I bump, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go down to this shit, bro. I play this shit like crazy. Like, niggas think, oh, that's your boy, so you didn't... No, no, fuck off. It ain't that, bro. Just to end the video out with this to show y'all niggas how I get down, bro. Okay? See that? So it'll show up now. Okay, see? It's all your true. You probably can't see it because it's like the print is so small. 106 plays. Let me take me off the fucking screen real quick. Okay? 106 plays. Darby. And then down here, Creek, most played album. That Creek, bro, is something fucking else, bro. Incredible. Nas dropped Magic 2, my favorite rapper of all time. And I'm bumping Darby more than that. What does that tell you? The album is flawless. Get it, man. Shout out to Darby. Salute. Salute to Devereaux. Chapter 17. 
It's a boy Mike Sage. Peace in the fuck up out of here. That creek is something, bro. Amazing album.